Some fun? What are you doing? You're eating the snow. <laughs> I got my ice cream. What is it? A mermaid spoon and a big spoon. It's a mermaid. Woohoo! Daddy, do you shake booty? Shake booty! Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel for those of you who are new and I am starting my day off getting coffee. Um, today our oldest daughter Hannah has her fourth Bible quiz tournament here in the city we live in. I think so. That's nice. It's nice that we don't have to travel very far for this tournament. Um, most of them are about like 45 minutes to at least an hour away and some go up to a few hours um, and somebody's fussy. I dropped all the girls off except for Shiloh with Jose at the church that they're quizzing at and I'm making a Starbucks run because we've got a little bit till my um, till Hannah has to quiz, and we are all feeling it, all the adults. So what, mommy? So my order, my husband's order. Our uh, pastor's daughter, who is the main coach over the Bible quiz team, and her three helpers. I was like, I can't offer one person. And then another one of the moms. I asked everybody, honestly. I asked all the parents if anybody wanted a Starbucks since I already offered to go for one person. I was like, I'm just going to offer for everybody. Um, so I'm picking up quite a bit. So this is going to be one of those Starbucks trips for the books for me. I've never picked up this many Starbucks orders at one time. I don't know if I have enough cup holder space. Hannah is quizzing beginners this year. Um, or this quiz. This is her first beginner quiz. She's been quizzing as a junior the last three, but we feel like putting her back down to beginner or putting taking her to a beginner status will benefit her so much more because this is her very first year quizzing. She's, um, she's seven and a half years old, so she's got another year and a half that she can quiz as a beginner to get a really solid Bible quiz foundation before moving up to juniors because the step between a beginner and a junior is like extremely drastic. <laughs> so these the kids and juniors are incredible. So and as a first year quizzer, she's doing amazing, but it's just we feel like this would give her a lot more experience and a much more positive um, first experience quizzing. Um, so we'll see how today goes I'm really excited I will try to get as much video footage as I can it's really hard to hear sometimes in there so if I can't get much then I will just keep you updated as we go but first coffee thank you all right so here's Jerry okay thank you and the rest are gonna come up to pray for you I know you didn't get any food but here's napkins just in case you never know thank you what do you have going on today? Bible quiz tournament. Okay. So, all the parents, we have to be at the church early, so we're all exhausted. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Coffee will help with that one. Yes. Are you, I'm going to leave you to park for a little bit. Are you guys, where are you guys, what church are you guys at? Um, right, the quiz is at CLC, the Westland Campus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's cool that you guys seem to always be doing events. Which yeah. Is good. <laughs> One more try coming, okay? Okay. Nice and easy. Have a good day, okay? Thank you so much. You, you have a great one. Alrighty, got my coffee. Now I gotta head back to the church. Yeah, I got coffee. need to let them know they gotta come out and get their drinks because there's no way I can carry all this stuff back by myself. So as far as coffee goes I've been trying different stuff every single time I've gone to Starbucks just because I'm trying to find something that I really really like that is not necessarily keto friendly but not full of sugar either. So because 
other than the pumpkin cream cold brew, my favorite has been the vanilla sweet cream cold brew with salted cold foam. But that's pretty packed with sugar. So I decided to try the sweet cream cold brew. It only has four grams of sugar, so I feel like that's way better. And I'll be able to Hopefully, hopefully I like it. Okay, let's give this a shot. That's actually really good. Not bad. And this is four grams of carbs. And worth 30 points. Question. And they were all amazed. That is correct. Question number 14 is a three part question worth 30 points. Question. Mark Tripper Tuber 17 states, I came not to call whom, but whom, to what? Mm -hmm. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repent it. That is correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Question number three. This is a direct question worth 10 points. Question. Mark chapter 1 verse 27 refers to new what? That is correct. Question number six is a direct question worth 10 points. Question, John, according to Mark chapter one, verse six, did eat what? Mm, bread, one. Locusts and wild honey. That is correct. Question number eight is a quotation question worth 20 points. Question, quote verse 22 of Mark chapter one. Mm, bread, one. And they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. That you may know. Interruption. You may know that the Son of Man has power on earth. To forgive sins. He says to the sick of the That is correct. Whether he would do what, that they might do what? Hannah finished her fourth quiz. This is the first quiz as a beginner. And what'd you get? Three ribbons. She got three quizzes and she got one ribbon each quiz. So her first quiz she got second place highest scorer. Her second quiz she got first place highest scorer. With 85 points. 85 points for her team. And then her third quiz she got second highest scorer. And 65 and then this one, the first one was 80. You did so awesome today, Hannah. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm pumped. So I was just editing the video and um, was trying to finish it up. And I realized I want, I never really ended the video. So it's been a little bit since that quiz. That was her first quiz as a beginner. She's had one quiz since then. But I wanted to jump on here real quick and kind of give um, a little ending to the video. So. She, as you saw, she quizzed really well. They had three quizzes, so all the main tournaments are double elimination, so if you lose two games, that's it for your team. So they had their first quiz, they lost their first quiz. Oh wait. Yes, they lost their first quiz, 
They won their second quiz and they lost their third quiz. She and her teammate are doing so, so well. I think the switch from junior to beginner was a very wise decision to make. Um, in her second quiz that she did just recently, she even, let me show you. She received a trophy because she made the all tournament team. That, um, and the all tournament team is basically saying, so she was the, they take the average points of everybody in the tournament, all the points that they made in throughout the tournament and they place them. So they take like the first through the fifth and they call that the all tournament team. So the fifth and higher person or average of points scored per game, those people get trophies. And Hannah was the uh, third highest scorer of the entire tournament. So she got a trophy, which is really cool. So it's an awesome ministry um, beyond just kids learning scripture and gaining a knowledge of the word and gaining a love for reading the Bible, it goes beyond that. It's not, even if they lose every single game, nothing that they've done is in vain because they're planting God's word in their heart and that's the whole goal of this. Yes, winning is fun, winning is great, but the object of this all is to keep them serving God for the rest of their lives. This last tournament that we had, Hannah, not, Hannah and her teammate did so well together, but beyond everything that they could have gotten um, in the natural as far as trophies and Hannah got some ribbons, um, that's all great. The biggest blessing that Bible quizzing has had on our family thus far is that Hannah has received the Holy Ghost. And um, that was just the icing on everything. That was what made it and that is what will keep our family in Bible quizzing. Because of Bible quizzing, Hannah has placed God's word in her heart and she has desired this and she has received this gift and we couldn't be more grateful. So we see the benefits of this ministry and this is something that we will continue to do for all of our children uh, once they reach reading age. Um, so it's been really cool, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you're new, I'd love to have you stick around and subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.